good like uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Billy uh, with my special guest this week. I could be the dirty old assassin. We don't know. Uh, let's recap uh, for the BIW show. This pa uh, this past weekend was in Pittsburgh, Mississippi. Um, it was called the Kingdom, the Key to the Kingdom. Uh, great show. Um, if, if I was giving the stars out. Uh, one uh, one to ten. It would be a ten, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It, it was a stack uh, show from um, from get go. Um, it is going to uh, tell y'all more about the show. Um, he was there. Um, uh, we went to eat at where? What? We was at uh, Rusty's. Riverfront Grill made good time and uh, we left early just in case you know you got to give yourself enough time for uh, traffic especially being on the holiday weekend 4th of July um, but um, the Rusty's Riverfront Grill let me tell you guys something if you go to Vicksburg I, I highly recommend it um, actually Colby Rutland that runs uh, uh, Body Slam Productions. Uh, he recommended it. He told me about it. And I said, well, we need to go try it. We looked it up and tried it. But let me tell you, the food is phenomenal. It's all fresh. It's really great. Uh, I highly recommend Rusty's Riverfront Grill in Vicksburg. Um, now the card was stacked, y'all. You have Frankie Thomas uh, versus Josh Habarshi, uh, uh, I guess I pronounced that name right. Uh, Shabashi. Shabashi. Yeah. Uh, Frankie won. Uh, very. Uh, that, that was a great match. Uh, you know, it could win, win either way. Um, Josh is a new guy with BIW. Uh, my understanding. Then you have Geo Savage uh, versus um, Park um, Ortiz. Ortega. Ortega. Yeah. Yes. Very good match. Very good match. Um, um, Geo Savage is one and three, I understand, on the record. But um, or, um, Ortiz won the belt. A match went on. Uh, then, you know, you had uh, uh, Wes uh, Warren versus uh, Eddie Martinez. Oh, my God. This match, it it was high-flying. High-flying. What do you think about that? Yes, uh, you talk about Martinez. Uh, uh, I, I, I will say this. Uh, Eddie Martinez, vroom, vroom, the power glider. Uh, Martinez is a great athlete. He is, uh, he is definitely the upcoming star. Uh, he's been good for BIW. Uh, he's... Uh, uh, it just kind of, kind of, sort of reminded me of Barrett Brown when Barrett Brown started with BIW. You know, he rose up quick. Barrett's a great athlete. Uh, you know, uh, but that was a that was a good that was a good match. Yeah. It was a good match. Then, uh, then you had Sergeant Warty taking on uh, NWA legend uh, Tim Storm, APOC, and uh, Bam Bam Malone. Oh, and that was a great match. Um, you know, Tim Storm and APOC and Bam Bam, you know, beat Southern Royalty. Um, so that's going to set up a great match. Um, we'll talk more about the next match, uh, Carwin, on in later on the show. Uh, then you have the Southern, for the main event, it was the Southern for the uh, Deep Southern Championship. Uh, Ray Fury versus uh, Matt Tra Trevin. Uh, Trevin. Uh, that was a great match. Um, Ray kept the belt. Yo, Matt Taven, he's really good. Yeah. Uh, uh, former Impact star, uh, wrestled for a um, AEW. Uh, you might catch him on one of their shows, uh, Collision, uh, Dark, one of them shows. Um, so, let's get into. We have two shows coming up, y'all, in August. BIW is on hands until August. The 12th, that being Brookhaven, um, we wasn't born to fall. The follow is name of the card. Um, 
Ray Fury gonna pick the uh, title against um, Pac um, or Ortega. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yes. Um, uh, then you got the BIW Women's Title. Uh, Amy uh, Camacho was the champion. Uh, it's gonna go Oliver View um, Vegas Vega. Uh, then Danny Chance is gonna be on the card. If y'all ever get a chance. Check this guy out, Danny Chance. He's a great guy. Um, that's a uh, stream uh, prime. Uh, Mexican Ecuador. Ecuador Prime. Uh, should be a good match. Then for the BIW Tag Team Champion, Southern Royalty is going to put their belts up against Muddy Water. Then this is the triple. I call it. I, I call it a three-way dance, but they call it a triple threat. Um, Bam Bam Malone versus Apoc versus the Cam Camacho. Uh, that's going. Which is the current champion? Which is he's the current champion? Which hey, uh, I hope they got that ring reinforced because Apoc and Camacho, them the big old boys. Um, so Ed, uh, we're going and there's another show coming up in um. Another show coming up in uh, Oak, Grove. Uh, Oak Grove. They have not been in Oak Grove in a while. Um, it's called Bayou Mania. Uh, the women's champion, uh, Emmy Cam uh, Camacho, going to put the belt against MIA Friday. Never heard of uh, and, and that, And that's if she retains the title in, in Brookhaven. Yes, yes. So then a week from Brookhaven, see, we're going to be in Oak Grove. On August nineteenth, uh, mark your calendars. Uh, request your time off from work. Uh, be there. Sports BIW. Uh, Josh is a great guy. His wife's a great lady. So uh, we'll see them. Uh, either either I'm going to Brookhaven or this show. One I'll be at one of them. Uh, then you got um, uh, Frankie uh, Thomas versus Austin uh, Al um, Andrews. Do you know who this Andrews this guy is? Austin Andrews. Have you ever seen uh, this guy? I'm, 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 I can't recall that. I'm not for sure. You know, sometimes I know faces, uh, and so it hasn't really stuck out to me. And my, with that guy. And also, the, the the tickets for the Oak Grove show goes on sale the twelfth. So uh, call John. Uh, go by uh, Carwell Banker. From um, West Monroe. West Monroe, get your ticket, or you can get there at uh, some one of the uh, local sponsors there in um, Oak Grove. Uh, then Adam Arsenal versus uh, Rook Taylor. Tyler. Tyler, excuse me. Tyler. Yes. Um, He's a good athlete. Very good athlete. Then, I guess it's going to be the main event um, Cyrus the Destroyer versus APOC. <laughs> but the original, I think they, they, they were going to try to get Stackhouse, but. I understand he's he's injured and he's had to go into an early retirement. Is that true, Mister? Uh, uh, I just I think he, far as I know, he got injured. I'm not sure what the whole status is right. there. Uh, but and he couldn't make it. So, um, uh, I will say that um, there's only going to be 400 seats available in Oak Grove. So, you you might want to go ahead and get 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 ready to get your ticket when they yes. go on sale yes. because they will go fast and uh, and 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 even with Brookhaven Brookhaven a very good venue at the Lincoln Civic Center you don't want to miss that I'm telling you four title matches the card is stacked and then the card is going to be stacked in Oak Grove with okay. a debut okay ladies and gentlemen uh, now we're going to our new segment uh, I've been talking about the last couple of weeks called the Legends Corner. Uh, this, I understand that uh, we're we'll talking about uh, JYD, but I think uh, he's going to be next week's segment. Uh, we're going to talk about Cowboy Bill Watts. Uh, you know, he rivaled from 1969, uh, 1962 to 1979. Um, you know, uh, had a famous uh, few with the WWF champion, uh, Bruno Martin, uh, um Bruno, he did not win the title. Uh, he went on. Uh, he wrestled many areas. 
like San Francisco, uh, Chicago, St. Louis, and even in Japan for all Japan Pro Wrestling, which on, was owned by Big Giant Bubba, I think. I gotta do some research on that one. Then he owned the Mid South uh, region, which he bought from uh, McGurk, McGurk uh, and you know, uh, from 1979 to 1987. Uh, then he went to work for uh, WCW. He was later fired in 19, 1982 for a racial slur about Hank Aaron. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. But, uh, the titles he held was the AWA US Champion one time and the NWA Florida uh, Champion, a heavyweight champion three times. The NWA Southern Heavyweight Florida version one time. Mid-South North American title twice. He had the Mid-South Tag Team titles. Uh, this was a tri-state uh, area with Colonel Christopher Butt Road the third. Um, then he had the NWA Louisiana Tag Team title with Butt Robley. Then he held the WWWF US Tag Team titles with a great, late, great uh, Grilla Monsoon. Then he was introduced in, uh, in the Hall of Fame in 2009, 09 of the WWE Hall of Fame. Um, uh, Ed, uh, you uh, since we're here, let's uh, talk about your uh, your your place that you your ministry and your uh, catering company you got. Um, tell the people out there how they can uh, get in touch with you. And to order from that great food, which me and my wife got. Yes, yeah, so you could. Night. You could find me on Facebook, Ed Taylor. I have the beanie on my head and uh, on the picture, uh, but uh, I don't really have uh, a menu or anything posted on Facebook. But you can private message me or whatever uh, on Messenger to put in an order. I do anywhere's from uh, 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 soul food, country cooking to. Uh, you know, anything special, Chinese, Italian, Mexican, I make, I make homemade uh, tortillas, uh, honey, homemade honey butter, salsa, queso, you name it. I do all the Italian cuisine, the, the Chinese, and, the, and uh, we, got, we got a real good bang up lasagna homemade from scratch. Uh, uh, that we do, and it, it's the the name of it is uh, Taylor Made Catering and Ministries. The ministry, you know, we uh, uh, I, I currently attend the Oaks Church at ULM in Monroe. Uh, our services are every Sunday. It's a mobile church right now uh, at 10 a.m. And uh, we uh, we also take part in reaching out to the homeless with uh, Brother Ricky Nolan. Uh, he's been doing this over 35 years. Uh, every Sunday he's out there. He doesn't miss a beat. Uh, we go out there and give him a hand and help him. Uh, uh, the ministry is, uh, you know, we, we try to reach out. There's a lot, a lot of lost people, a lot of hurting people, broken people. So, anyways, but the catering, you know, if you if you ever want anything done, you can uh, contact me through Messenger or, you know, if you want to call me at 318-953-6609. Uh, and I could hook you up. I deliver it. Uh, you're not going to find too many other than, of course, DoorDash, but... I'm not listed with them, but you won't find a personal delivery person to to cook from scratch and deliver that hand, deliver that to you. So uh, it's out there. So if you guys like something, or if you think of something you your taste buds want, hey, just throw the challenge out to me. We'll get it done. And also, uh, amazing grace design that. She does the, the designs all uh, C and B knows of uh, podcast shirts. Um, uh, reach out to her at um, I, I, uh, April Davis at uh, Amazing Grace Designs. Um, she does the BIW shirts uh, if y'all want. 
a, a BIW shirt. Um, you know, group me up, send me an email, or, or find me on my uh, on Messenger, uh, Billy, Billy, and um, on Facebook or Messenger, and I will tell you the prices. I will get with y'all. So uh, thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see y'all next week. And get out there, sponsor BIW. Uh, they'll be back in West Monroe in September. September the 9th, back in West Monroe. Um, if, you, if you you don't make the uh, Oak Grove show or Brook Haven, do it in September. Because uh, I've seen some of the card. It looks like it's going to be another sellout in West Monroe. And also, in Oak Grove, Cassidy Riley is going to be there signing autographs. Uh, but so. And and, and 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 don't forget, you guys can also get on there and sponsor BIW. Contact Josh Newell. Uh, he's at Colwell Bankers, but you can contact him at 318-355-1301. You sponsor the show. You get discount on tickets. You, I mean, uh, you, you couldn't ask for a better wrestling card put together in in my opinion so uh it, it's really fun it's up close and personal you don't want to miss it just you know uh reach out to josh though if you would like to sponsor that it'd be a great thing to do but you know uh cmb knows uh podcast we do scr- uh, sponsor um some shows um we're gonna sponsor the Oak Grove show. Uh, I know I'm spon- I know CMB is gonna sponsor the Westmore show. Might be a, I know Vicksburg uh, when they're coming back in November to November the 11th. Yeah, back I, know, in Vicksburg. I think we're in October. October 7th in Fountain Hill, yeah, Arkansas. And I know, and I know in Fount, uh, we're going to Fountain Hill that we in October, so it'll be a little bit cooler. Um, CMB will be sponsoring that. Uh, uh, the catering of uh, Ed. We'll be there. Uh, come up to us. Say hi. And um, God bless y'all. And be good to one another. And be careful out there with this uh, bad weather coming in. Thank y'all.